how's it going ladies and gentlemen welcome back to Zenworks channel today we're going to be building the sky graph spar so this video is straight recording after the l strike review uh honestly that uh everything that i need to say i pretty much say in that video so we're just gonna keep moving forward we're gonna be reviewing the sky grasper this time so this is the supporting unit of the strike gundam and also containing the um the backpacks of the strike gundams for the strike gundam to transform into different packs uh at the at mid battle so it's basically, it's basically a support unit and really though uh this one i heard many many reviews says that this uh support machine is actually pretty good on its own and really though it could, the, the selling point of this machine is actually containing the other two packs for the strike and them to complete your collection so sorry about that if i need to if i need to you know put it in the shelf to display to other people i'm not rich enough to buy free strike on them to you know for free different packs i'm sorry i'm not that rich i'm just gonna put one put one pack put one pack on the shelf and leave it like that so we're just gonna open it first so now we're just gonna quickly open up the instruction menu honestly there's not much to talk about on the instruct in the instruction menu but this one right here is a very solid solid uh Flighter right here. So as you can see that the flighter is not really hard to assemble You can assemble this like very quickly the main parts. That's pretty annoying as I see that is actually the strike packs So as you can see right here the strike the strike and it even give you the instruction about how do you put it on and oh That's pretty good. So we're just gonna keep looking at so Yes, you can even put on the Aero Strike backpack as well. So I'm definitely putting on the Aero Strike backpack on this thing because honestly, that Strike Gundam can't even put on its own backpack. It's just pretty funny. Yes, I know. So at the back here, we can see, whoa, that's a lot of stickers right here. That's a lot of stickers. And at the bottom right here, we can see that, oh, it contains the uh, the pilot, Mula Flaga. And we have the color guide here, so yes, so pretty, pretty much like this. Okay, so finish that part. So we have two, and this is special. They didn't put the decals on the exact same one sheet. They give you two, so this one right here is actually for the backpacks. Uh, I mean, <laughs> yes, the backpacks, and this one is for the actual uh, flighter itself. So it's for the sky grubs, but this is for the backpacks. This is for the weapons. And we have this line right here is for the saw saw striker when it kind of throws out the uh, thing at its forearm i forgot what's that weapon called but anyway you get what i'm saying so i'm just gonna start with the runner so first we have an sa runner so this one right here i believe this is uh this is the this is the windows of the flighter and this is the what's this one actually this one is i think this one is the uh, launcher backpack and right here we can see that there's some uh I can't really tell which one, which part is this. Like, I can tell this is like some part of the launcher striker, and this is right here. It's definitely the source striker's uh, beam effects. And next up, we have the SX runner. Oops, the SX runner is uh, mostly there's gonna be some on the. So this one right here is definitely for the backpack, I think, and other parts I think is for the actual flighter itself. So next next up we have the SC runner. SC runner, this is clearly the whole the whole run is clearly about the sword strike. So I'm not even gonna go details. This is the shield and this is the sword. This is the SD runner. The SD runner, uh, I think its most part is containing the actual sky grubs part rather than the backpacks. So that's pretty much it. And next up we have a SI runner. This is the in the frame of all the joints so this one right here is obviously for this for what uh, for the launcher pack and this one right here is for the sword packs i think and other than that i think most of it is just the joints the connectors of the actual backpacks and the sky graphs per joint for the backpacks to go on it This is the SF runner. So the SF runner right here, I, I really can't tell which is which. So I just have to guess. This is the wheels. This These are the wheels of the uh, Sky Grasper. This one is obviously the Launcher Strike uh, cannon. And this is the Launcher Strike fins, I think. So 
yes, this is the handle. This is the saw strikes. I, I'm I'm literally reviewing this runner by guessing. Next one, we have an SG runner. This one I can't really tell. I don't, I I can't tell. This is the hands. Oh, they give you individual hands. This time they give you new hands for the weapon. So, really admiring Bandai right now. So, why don't you do that for the air strike? <laughs> and um, next up we have the launcher strike backpack right here. And next up we have the SE runner. This one right here, I think most of it is the sky grub spur there's a little bit of part that containing the soul striker but i can't really tell which one the part is it so we're just gonna skip this part so this is the sb runner this is the launcher strike obviously if you can't tell by the color this is the whole the whole runner is about this launcher striker so yes this is pretty much it so that's pretty much the runner's introduction so i'll see you guys at the review Hey guys, welcome back to the review of the Skycrafts first, so this is the finishing of it. So I'll just let you take a quick look on this uh, particular gamble. It is pretty small and uh, there's not really like articulation or stuff like that for you to look at. But if you want some articulation, there's a bit on the wings, which is, uh, you can see that. I can move the wings and also the guns, also the cannon on the top. It is movable as well. The cockpit is supposed to be... Uh, uh, it can be open, but for some reason, uh, when I try to open it, and it's just don't really work. I don't know. I don't know. Is it my gunpowder's problem, or like, is it like a designing problem? So I'm not really sure actually. And uh, there's there's a extension part on the back of the skycraft part as well. These part right here, the extension right here, uh, it looks a bit look like the strike Gundam's shoulders. It is. You know, it, it's pretty mixing. It, it makes a lot of sense because considering the fact this is a supporting unit for the strike on them, so uh, the part right here looks a bit like the strike on them's backpack, uh, the, the shoulders. It's, it looks pretty. It looks like I. Uh, it is pretty normal. And the back here, we can see that this plug right here is for the strike, uh, for the strike on them backpack to plug in. So I'll show you how to do it later. But right now, this is basically how the sky sky graphs part look at. So we're just gonna introduce like. Uh, the bits of uh, each backpack and then the a little bit of accessory as well. So first, we're just going to talk about like the extra accessory that uh, left out on the Skycross Plus. So first, we have this little piece here. This is an action-based adapter. So you can just, so uh, the way to apply on it is actually pretty simple. So you just have to open this little piece right here at the bottom, which you want to borrow some tools when you try to open it which I try to find one so now as you can see it's removed now and basically if you try to if you try to put it on the extra base you can just plug in this part right here in there and then now you can apply you can plug it on like any kind of action base right here and the second thing that I want to complain is uh, we got some parts right here on the wheels so the wheels you can take it off and then you know put it back uh, you can just take these off so uh, at the front wheels right here uh we got two types we got this a uh, little bit of shorter type and then we have this uh taller type on the actual gamma right now so you can choose uh some options on the front uh wheels and then next up uh so Benda is pretty nice they know that um the full movable hand does not work so they give us a extra pair of hands right here so this is like the weapon holding hand so it it, it allows you to hold the weapons on the strike Gundam um, more easier so you can pose so you can you know possibly make some poses instead of you know have to hang around for like every instead of the adjusting the movement like every five seconds but so first this so first I'm, I want to show you how to equip on the uh, strike the L strike backpack so first uh, I already do some monetization on this. So first, if you want to apply on the L Strike backpack, first you have to fold the backpack to this, and then you have to move the beam sabers to the front. And next up, what we have to do is we have to open up both sides. So as you can see right here, so this side, this side right here, we're gonna we're gonna plug this in. We're gonna plug this small piece in. There's a lot of there's a dip, like different type of. Um, 
different type of parts for you to put on. So first, we just have to remove this extenders and then put on the other parts on this as well. So the ball joint side here, so always remember. So here's the thing. Ball joint side here is for the shield and then this rack right here is for the guns. And how do you put on the backpack? You just basically did what you do to the strike on them. So you just basically find a joint and then plug it in. And it's, it's just as simple as this. So now you can see the L Strike backpack has been equipped on. And now let's get out the shield and then the gun so we can finish the whole thing. So we get out the gun. So the gun. So we're gonna we're gonna plug the parts on this right here, the part in front of the scope. So basically you just need to push in, done. So as you can see here, the gun is equipped. And then for the shield, remember the tip is facing the back. So what you have to do is just plug in, find the ball joint and plug it in. And there you go. This is the whole L strike backpack being plugged onto the sky grabs part. So next up, I would like to introduce the straw, the sword strike backpack so as you can see right here i'm taking out all the um <clears throat> sword strike part here so first we have the um launcher right here it does come with a line but let's be honest it doesn't hold on the strike gundam anyway because as i mentioned in the strike gundam uh before it can't even hold the shield uh, like you just you just don't need to expect that it will hold like this kind of weapon so as you can see right here it comes with a line which is allowing you to pose like when which you which is allowing you to you know pose when the uh, when the strike and throw the weapons out with the like attaching on this so it's pretty simple right here uh, and then at the back here we have this uh, connector right here so you can plug it on the strike on them's forearm and next up we have all kinds of beams so i'm going to talk about the shoulders first so the shoulders right here this is boomerang the boomerang the boomerang though um we just have to we just have to plug in and uh, the beam effect part like this and you can basically put it on the hand and then you know start posing your gun below. so to put it back in is pretty simple. You just find a find a find a place and then just plug it in again. Uh, the sword here, I must say that uh, they did they did like the sword very good. Uh, it's sharp. The colors is uh is beautiful. But the only thing that I don't like is um. So I will show you how to put in the beam saber effect part. So first you need to plug in this end here and then you need to find the hole right here and then plug it in but here's the thing yes there's a gap that's normal uh you will assume this is normal but here's the thing it's too easy to fall apart so uh it's a little bit of flaw but this but this sword right here it got something special like uh some settings that i've never seen before such as um i don't even know like for for a person that watches scandal c for so long i don't even know there's a there's a that you that the uh this gigantic anti-ship sword can actually generate a small beam blade at the end of the sword i don't even know that actually so it is a pretty new thing for me but now i'm going to show you how to put it on the sky graph spot so first um you need to find the backpack right here so and then what you have to do is just plug the sword on like this remember when you're plugging on the sky grasper, the handle is facing up. But when you plug onto the strike on them, the handle is facing down. So f you will get what I mean later. So first, uh, you need to open up. There's a this part right here is movable on the backpack. So basically, you just have to plug it in first. So you just plug in the backpack, and then you clip it back on again. So it will be like this. So now the sword is equipped on. And how do you put on the how do you put on this shield right here? You just have to remove this piece right here, which is a bit hard. Place it with a new part right here. So now it's been replaced. And then what you have to do here is just basically just just snap it on on the bow, on the bottom of the sky grub part like this. So now it's been put on to the sky grub part. And next up, what we have to do right now is putting the last part, which is the backpack. Uh, so anyway, it doesn't stick on it for some reason, but. I've been doing the correct thing. So so to put on this so to put on this part right here, all you have to do is just you need to line up the the shield the shield first and then you need to clip it on, on the back at the back. You clip it on like this. And by the way, this boomerang part is very easy to fall, so it, I, I like I literally ran out of words to complain, but it's fine. 
we will just deal with it and then next what we have to do right here as you can see this is the actually the sword strikers backpack part so all you have to do is just clip it back onto the sky grab spar and that's that's how you equip on the whole sword strike backpack on the on the sky grab spar so this is pretty much how it looks right now so next up we're just going to introduce the launcher pack but before you put on the launcher pack make sure on the right side of the sky grass part you put on this little piece right here which is which is for the um the shoulder cannon and the machine gun and the missiles so here's the shoulders part right here as you can see it looks beautiful uh, in my opinion even even got some gold sticker at the back so i will give a full mark about this one but sadly the gatling gun right here is cannot you know uh, spin around or something like that but put on the sky grass part it's pretty simple you just have to fold these wings up here and then just basically find the plug done this is how you put on the first part and then second part we have the huge launcher the launcher looks absolutely amazing but it got a lot of problems that i have to tell you so first um before i jump into um the how do you put on the strike gun thing uh so before i put on the sky grab spell or the strike gun i must tell you that the model the model instruction menu told you that the launcher strike the cannon right here actually is movable and is uh it can all the way extend to the hands that's completely wrong i mean so before i was before i was recording i've been um shooting the video uh, i've been shooting the photos for the uh, for those these two backpacks on the strike on them and on the sky graph pair for around one hour i've been shooting photos i've been finding the right angle finding the right poses but i realized that but i spent it most of the time i spent 20 minutes trying to get the uh this cannon on the strike on those hands and it's literally impossible so i gave up and actually the joint the the moving the move the, the moving joint on this on this launcher pack is actually very questionable as it's not really movable actually so so i'll just you know i'll just say that um it's it got flaws but um fine this is like the literally only only time you're gonna get a launcher anyway so it's pretty simple you just do, do the same thing like the arrow strike and the sword strike you just plug it in with the backpack and that's how it looks so it doesn't come with any you know shooting beam effect part or something like that so don't expect too much but it looks pretty fine so i know i know you've been tired of hearing me saying anything so let's just jump straight on how do you equip onto the strike on them now first we're gonna equip onto the source equip on how show you how to equip on the sword strike so equip on the sword strike uh about the about the shoulder part is actually pretty similar on how the uh when i show you earlier how do you equipped onto the um sky grab spot you just have to clip the clip this uh, boomerang part on the shoulders and then just find the right place and then just clip it back in and now so the shoulder part has been completed and next up you will ask me where is the shield it is pretty simple actually the shield you just have to find you just have to get the parts in and then now it's been equipped on properly on the right hand and on the on the on the left hand so next up before we switched to the regular installment as i told you before when you put it on to the strike on the make sure the handle is facing out so facing uh, oh wait actually make sure the handles is facing in so when you put on to these so when you put on to the actual gampla and it actually is you know it's logically can be pull out from the backpack so as you can see right here so if i pull this up a little bit you can see that this is basically how the whole sword strike looks like right now i will prefer the sword strike now because the sword strike it is it is actually the only backpack that can stand by itself it is pretty sad so you know <laughs> uh, man i just have a lot of mixed feelings but anyways um so we're just gonna do a test right now a lot of you a lot of you might be quite might not see my arrow strike video so i'll just give you a quick review so on the arrow strike video the the strike on them cannot hold the shield so we'll test now can he hold his own shield uh, his own projectile shield so we'll just test it out very quickly so now so the moment of truth will be revealing in three two one
nope it doesn't work so next up we're gonna equip on the launcher pack so just as same as the sky grasper make sure you equip on this little piece right here on the shoulder before you move on to any so first we're gonna equip on this side pack right here so all you have to do now open up the wings and then plug it on so it is pretty simple so this is like this is like a step that you can do and then next up we will have to put on the launcher pack but spoiler alert once the strike the strike cannot put on the launcher pack it can barely stand on itself because the launcher cannon is so heavy i was like it is literally relying on the launcher cannon holding the strike on them so i can so it can stand on its own if i move it if i move it away you can see it started to lean backward if i move all the way back you can see that so the strike on them actually cannot hold uh, cannot you know stand on its own when the launcher pack is on so or i or i should change the phrase as it is very hard to stand on its own once you equip the launcher pack because you will see that it will start falling back if i just leave it like if i just move my hand away uh it will it, you either have to you know have some weird standing pose or you can see the actual camera is leaning towards the back so the launcher pack though uh if you use it for them if you use it for display purposes i think um i think you shouldn't because really though it it is it's leaning backwards it's 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 awkward it's ugly so yeah so we're just gonna do a little quick test right here so so right now i'm just gonna unequip the backpack first so we're just gonna show you how do you actually use it on the gun plus so first you will need to uh, move the joint so just like this moving up so a uh, moving up and then moving down and then you have these launcher pack like this so this is how you so this is how you normally transform into shooting mode when you try to equip on the sword uh, the launcher strike it's not really possible to hold it because uh, i've been trying this when i was trying to shoot the photos and it ended up on two things one the hands will pop out two it looks ugly the poses and three the whole launcher backpack just drop itself break itself so theoretically uh it is pretty awkward to you know try to use the launcher cannon when you when you try to pose it because it doesn't look it the articulation is a little bit weird and it's really hard to get it right i must say that so if you if you uh. before we close down the video uh there's another special feature in this sky grasper kit is this um it's this strength down model of the backpack so basically it gives you a empty version of the strike gundam's torso uh, like, i mean actually the backpack connector so you can actually display launcher pack or the sword pack so in this case i choose to display the sword pack because it looks it looks like there's a lot to use there's a like a lot to see instead of just a launch a, a cannon and you know a a machine gun something like that so this one right here it displayed a lot so uh so this to display the launcher pack is actually pretty simple you just basically tear apart the whole thing and then just move this piece to this uh other plug here so you can display the launcher pack so it's just a little bit of extra detail that um this kit gave you you can individually display the backpack i think it is a pretty good feature though it is pretty cool for someone who like to text picture of the individual backpack thank you for watching guys this is the other review um skycraft spa it is a very good unit but the strike on them they really need to rework it because the strike on them honestly the standing got a lot of problem it, it doesn't it doesn't stand as nice as the new rgs and to be to be honest like the strike backpack uh they are absolutely amazing they give you a lot of details uh decals beam effects and you can you can equip it on and then you know having uh all kinds of and it even give you a line to you know remake the actions in the anime and it's just it's just awesome the idea is awesome the launcher pack it is pretty heavy so they didn't really consider the fact that the strike on them can't really stand on its own once you equip on any kind of backpack except for the sword backpack the sword backpack is, as you can see right now is standing perfectly 
and uh, I must say that Skygraph Spa, if you have the ROG Strike on them, definitely buy it because you you're gonna need it for the post. You're gonna need it to switch around. And uh, other than that, I think the I think for the actual uh, Skygraph Spa or so actual Gamma itself, it is a pretty good product. It is solid. It doesn't fall apart, and it got really good color separation and. You can equip all kind of strike backpack on this, so you can you know recreate scenes in the anime. So I think that's is absolutely amazing. But the strike and them, nah, uh, strike and them really need a rework. Like this, the early RGs, they all need a rework. And uh, that's pretty much my opinion. So thank you for watching. Uh, leave a like on my videos. Comment on my videos. Comment about your thoughts. Um, subscribe to my channel make sure you hit the little bell so get notified whenever I upload the video and I'll see you guys in the Gunpla review goodbye